All right, we are back. Got this guy running for a minute now. He's gonna get a roar boil in there. And I don't know if anyone knew, that's not smoke, that's steam only coming out of here. Only the exhaust is coming out of here, the combustion. That'll, these will both go get mixed into the turbine. I've barely used any fuel. This is the only propane tank I've used so far for all the tests with all of these burners. And it wasn't even full when I started. So I'm not even gonna be burning much. I'm like 20 bucks for one of those to refill. Let's see if I can get the turn the lights off real fast. You can if I uh, change the air fuel ratio if I start getting rid of the air and start spitting some of that fuel out the tail. And it actually wants to it can't burn it all inside because there's not enough oxidizer with it, so it starts burning with the air outside. Air needs that flame doesn't even come outside of the, the barrel on the front here. It's just straight roaring in there. Nice clean burn. Well, hopefully, get a uh, O2 sensor here. I'll be able to use at the end just to be able to test what it's all doing here. Yeah, real simple. Just two. Air, fuel. <laughs> That's it. Right now I'm just using propane, but I'll be using the making a pressurized fuel tank here so that all the fuel and the air will be liquid fuel and air will be sent in at the exact same time. I want to see how well this thing handles and holds up like going long term here. Doesn't, there doesn't seem any other issue other than maybe wanting to uh Start boiling over here. <laughs> Getting really hot inside there, but see if I can bring this down a little. I'm, I'm able to start telling where it is based off of the sound. Not sure if you can hear that. coming in because my regulator is just struggling to be able to figure what I'm trying to push out of it. It's just so low. That's that's how little air we're using here. Don't mind the mess. Madness in action. So yeah, this is just set and go if I want to use it as a heater or just this is the one fuel and we throttle the steam. It'd be pretty easy to add a fuel regulation on this for the turbine. Do an RPM regulator, if the turbine starts going up too high, you just start cutting off the fuel. The turbine goes too low, start adding fuel. It's just piggybacked with the steam coming off of here. This is amazing. I can't believe how nice this is coming together. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this little pressure aluminum tank for fuel because it's gonna be waste oil. Why wouldn't that be okay? Ugh. I cannot wait to do more. There's so much to come for this. And hey, if you guys are interested in this as a burner or a boiler or a heater or water heater, please let me know. turbine ready yet or not we want to have this system out because this is so many uses other than just for the turbine tesla really came up with something nice here i know it's not that complicated but 
it, it's just really a good holistic system. And whether you use this heat exchanger for making more steam in the actual turbine or just heating elsewhere or processing, it's just a great combined heat and power system for literally any fuel that you want. Any fuel. We're, right now we're using gas. I'm going to have a liquid one here soon. The steam nozzle, liquid, nothing will have to change for the liquid. I want to do solid fuel particulates because Tesla talks about using power from, uh, pulverized coal. What I'm really, really, really looking forward to is being able to use powdered iron. If you're not familiar with this, it's a, it's a fuel storage or energy storage system or chemical. Take a look at it. Uh, all it burns is iron and it comes out with rust. It's completely carbon free looking to be something big here in the future of energy production or energy storage because the rust that comes out of it can be cyclone filtered this is a solid particulate it doesn't produce any gaseous materials or reactants to it <coughs> uh, so you can cyclone filter the dust and then that dust the rust it's literally foxs or feoxs uh, that rust can be elect have electrolysis done to it to split it back out into iron and oxygen. It's the same thing as electrolysis of water or uh, another one that I've heard about getting talked about uh, is for doing the same system for aluminum. Aluminum oxidation is a fuel and storage because you can electro do as electrolysis for it and split it back out. Um, also, we can burn crude. We can burn crude oil in this. This is the big thing that no one wants to talk about with the Tesla turbine. We can burn crude oil. And it, when, this is literally the refined fuel killer and piston engine killer. 